to come down. <sighs> Whatever the people were fake outraged about, because that's all it was. Fake outrage. And I have, I have not um, reached that level, that status in my rich auntie phase yet. Okay. Usually, I don't post. Usually, I don't post, but I want the world to know. Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to the Lady TV. I'm like so giddy. <laughs> These past few videos, I don't know, I've just been in such a good mood lately. Um, so I'm just trying to keep the energy going. Okay. Also, I'm having a really good makeup day. Mm, okay. Yeah. You see it. So I did try out the Fenty, um, concealer. So stay tuned for that video because I'll let you know how I feel about it. And, um, yeah. So today's video is another empties this is my december empties and i'm going to be going over skin and body god i don't know why that just left my mind but today's um empties is going to be skin and body so if you're interested in seeing what that is then keep watching all right you guys so we're going to get right to my december empties this time around we are doing skin and body so let's get to it uh first things first what's understood don't have to be explained okay and that goes for these this is the exuviance advanced series advanced series performance peel ap25 i don't know what the ap or the 25 stands for but Yes, ma'am. You need to get these. Okay. Next time they're a beauty steal or they're on sale at Ulta, run and get them. Run real fast. Okay. Run as fast as you can because these are so good. I already have a backup. Thank you to my sister. Shout out to her. She gave me her pack. But I'm so glad she did because I was about to hit at the court once I realized that I was out of these. Okay. Let me calm down. They're so good. They're gentle, but effective. Okay. And I wasn't even all that consistent with these. Because if I was, I would have been ran through these. But I only use these like once, maybe twice a week. And I still saw changes in my skin. Pigmentation just fading away. Slowly, slowly. But still fading away. Like, it's noticeable differences in my skin when I use these and when I do not. So if you were thinking about these, you're like, oh, they're so expensive. Yes, it is. Is it is Zuvians? They they are proud of their products, but their products are good. I haven't tried anything from them that I just absolutely did not like. Y'all know I love love. The um the deep clean AHA cleanser, something like that. I love it. I love it. So yes. These are going in, yes ma'am, no doubts about it. Alright, skin, skin, real quick. I done ran through another bag of these, uh, the Skin Food Rice Daily Brightening Cleansing Tissues. Yes ma'am, I'm not going to talk too much about them. These are like the only face wipes that I use. Just, just try them. I really don't even know what else is out there besides Neutrogena. Who else has a face wipe? I don't even know. I don't know. But anyway, yeah. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, this is the Tush um, from Bush Bomb. Mm, well, sun is going too much. But anyway, this is the Tush uh, Firming Cream to treat your skin. What does it say? Extra hydrating. 97% natural. Basically, it's body lotion for your butt. That's why it's called Tush. <laughs> um, who is this for? Like, 
why do I need special lotion for my butt? And I only have this because it was a free gift. I would definitely not ever like just go out and buy this. Like anything that I use on my body, I'm gonna use on my behind. Like, I don't know. I don't know what treatment this is supposed to do. I really didn't even like the smell. Nah, I'll take that back. It do smell good. It smell good. But I know I didn't like the texture. It was kind of sticky after you put it on and rubbed it in. So I did not like that at all. Um, so, who this for? Okay. Moving along. Um, ooh, let's do this one. This is the Honey Pot Menstrual Cup. Okay, I know some people are weirded out by menstrual cups, period panties, um, free flow, whatever the technical term for that is. Me personally, this is the first menstrual cup that I have used and like it worked, it fit, and I love it. So, I know the girlies were mad at the honey pie for a while. I, it never swayed me because they make good products. I personally didn't notice a difference in their pads, which is really all that I use. I'm not like a tampon girly. I didn't use the wash. Um, so as long as the uh, the tea tree tinkle was in the pads, I didn't care about nothing with whatever the people were fake outraged about because that's all it was, fake outrage. Okay, but yes, if you're in the market for a menstrual cup and you haven't tried the honey pots, I would definitely recommend it. Um, I do have the size two. Um, I think size two is for women who are over 30 or have children. I don't have children, so do with that information what you will. But um, yeah, I love this and it literally does not leak it doesn't leak and like it lasts for like all day like i get up in the morning i put it in i go to work i go about my day and then i just take it out at night um and usually at night i do wear period panties i'll wear you know a pair of those or just like a pad a honey pot pad so yeah this one is definitely going in yes ma'am um, speaking of the honey pot, um, I do have their herbal infused panty liners. We're not going to go too deep into that. Their panty liners. They got the tea tree tingle in them too. Yes, ma'am. Um, let me see. Skin, 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 body. Oh, we have this truly uh, matcha scrub focus i don't know uh whipped face scrub green tea matcha dead sea salt and vitamin a boost y'all already know how i feel about truly it's a no for me um i almost want to put this in absolutely not because truly it's just so overpriced for i'm this i got in an ipsy so i didn't like pay full price for it but I'm sure this is every bit of like 20, 30 something dollars. And I, I just don't think that it's worth that. It does smell good. It smells like a green apple grass <laughs> type of smell. I don't know. But truly, they just don't do it for me. I haven't tried anything from them that I'm willing to pay full price for. So absolutely not. The Fresh um, Rose Deep Hydration Oil Infused Serum, a balance of hydration and nourishment. Yes, ma'am. This is so good. Nice glass bottle, unlike that Fresh Rose Toner situation. I really like to use this after I've um, cleansed. You know, put some in my hand and just like press it into the skin. Almost like an essence type of thing. I would do that and then just follow up with my serums, arcane moisturizer situation that I would do. But yes, ma'am. Fresh. I love y'all for this. 
this is so good um so moisturizing but not like too moisturizing i don't know i don't know but it's good yeah i will most definitely buy it again so it's going in the yes ma'am all right so moving on i have the um belief aqua bomb this is like a little sample to get a focus no but this is the belief aqua bomb makeup removing cleansing balm um it'll do it'll do it's not my favorite cleansing balm um but it does a, a decent job I wasn't a fan of the smell. It does have like a like a minty, almost menthol-y smell, but I just didn't like. I don't really want smells in my skincare, you know. Not like chemically smells, but if if it's like a like that kinship um cleanser i have i know that's like a clean beauty brand so i know that if it smells like apples it's because apples is in the product right so this yeah i'm not too much a fan of it and i also noticed i have the um the aqua bomb eye cream it has a faint faint fragrance to it too but i love that eye cream down so this one, it'll do. It's not my favorite. Um, I won't go out of my way for it. But, I mean, it works. It removes makeup. Uh, but yeah, Belief is not a cheap brand. So I think a full size of this is every bit of like $30, $40. And I think for that amount, you need to come with it. And it is it. And it was just like, oh, here we go. Uh, but yeah, this not my favorite thing from Belief. They do have a sunscreen, the SPF, that has good reviews. I might do a double and try that. But if that got a smell to it, I just can't. I don't like smells. I don't like unnatural smells in my skincare. Um, yeah. So next up, I have the La Roche Posay Niacinamide Tin Serum Anti Aging Concentrate Clarifying Rebalancing Pure Niacinamide 10% um, with the La Roche Posay Thermal Spring Water. Wow, that is a lot. Um, excuse me, with La Roche Posay, I'll allow it. Um, it was good, y'all. It was so good, but it's high. Do they not sell this anymore? So they don't even have this on the Ulta website. I did see it at like Target and Walmart for like half off. So they might be discontinuing this. Um, but the price that I see is like 46 to $50 for um, this serum. I mean, it was good. It just wasn't $50. So that might be a sign of something if it's no longer sold because the product came out like last year. So I don't know, but I'll allow it. Um, the last two things I have, this one is a vitamin C intense face cream from Kat Berkey. Um, this was also in a Ipsy, a really good vitamin C uh, moisturizer see this is what I mean like natural smells because this smells citrusy but it's also a vitamin C serum moisturizer so I expect it to smell citrusy right right but yeah it was real good I'm gonna put it in it'll do mmm I would say I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Again, I did not repurchase this because this jar is like two hundred dollars. Um, and I have I have not um reached that level, that status in my rich auntie phase yet. Okay, one hundred and sixteen doll hairs for this moisturizer. 
Um, it's good, but it ain't that good. Okay, I have yet to try a product that's a triple digit price tag that I want to repurchase. Okay. Yeah, one hundred and sixteen dollars. Let me just go move along. And the last thing I have is this zit sticker, um, like these micro dark pimple patches. Who this for? I don't know. It's for someone. It's just not for me. Um. Fast act. Oh, this is the killer extra strength fast acting patch for deep early stage zits. Two percent salicylic acid for acne patches for cleansing wipes. I don't know. I tried these. They didn't do anything for me. The pimple still came out to a head. It, you know, it it did what pimples do. Um. So yeah, I. I have tried several pimple patches and I don't think they work for me personally and my pimple. So I'm going to put this in who this full. But I see people walking around with the hearts and stars and horseshoes on their face all the time with some type of pimple patch. But for me, it, it just, it just doesn't work. So um, yeah, who this full? I, I don't know because it's not for me. Sorry to this brand. I'm sure they have some great other products. And I'm sure this works for somebody. But again, that's why it's in the who this fuck category. Because it's just for someone. Just not for me. Thank you for tuning in to my monthly empties video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Turn on the notifications bell. Because I do have a good bit of uploads coming up here soon. So... You know, turn on those notification bells so you don't miss them. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!